make you a world with these two hands today But I love memories and laughs in all that I create Corral the bikes in your yard with an easy to make PVC bike rack This rack holds five bikes and was based on a design I saw online although I have changed some of the measurements. You'll need about 45 feet of 3 quarter inch PVC pipe. This is typically sold in 10 foot sections, although I asked an employee at the hardware store to cut mine in half so I could fit them in the car. So I had 10 pieces of pipe that were 5 feet or 60 inches long. I'll only need to use 9 of them for this project. Here are the pieces you'll need to cut. I've made a diagram to show how you can get the most from your cuts. The diagram is based on pipes that are 5 feet or 60 inches long. You will also need 20 T connectors and 14 90 degree elbow connectors. Make sure you're buying the correct size for your 3 quarter inch pipe. You can complete the entire project using a handsaw as your only tool. This will take several minutes per cut. If you happen to own a vise, it will make cutting easier. And if you happen to own a saber saw, the project will go very quickly. Measure the pipe and mark with a pencil. Cut all of the pieces on the list. This took me about 45 minutes with a saber saw. Don't, don't, don't feel afraid to innovate. Don't, 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 don't miss a chance to be creative. Don't, 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 don't. Try this at home. Try this at home. Now we can put the bike rack together. Using PVC cement will greatly increase the durability of the bike rack. However, I recommend assembling the rack without cement first. Try out the rack for a couple of days to make sure you don't want to make any spacing adjustments. Then reassemble using cement. Begin by attaching two 16 inch pieces with an elbow connector. Repeat with all the 16 inch pieces. This will give you 10 V shaped pieces. I already gave my rack a test run so I can use the cement. Now add a T connector to the end of each assembled V piece. Stand upright on the ground to make sure all pieces are level. Next, add elbow connectors to each end of the two 23 and 1 8 inch pieces. These will form the short sides of the bike rack. Add a 2 inch piece to the elbow connector on each end of the 23 and 1 8 inch pieces. Attach an assembled V piece. Repeat with the other 23 and 1 8 inch piece. Set one of these aside, we'll use it last. Add a 2 inch piece to the T connector. Join the next V piece to it. Repeat on the other end. This creates one bike slot. Apply firm pressure when attaching.
Now we'll add two of the 12 inch pieces. This provides spacing between the bikes and leaves room for the handlebars. Repeat the pattern by attaching a V piece, followed by two inch pieces, then another V piece. This creates the second slot. Continue the pattern by adding 12 inch pieces, then a V piece. Repeat with the remaining unassembled pieces. Finally, join the 23 and 1 8 inch piece you assembled earlier. To use, place the wheel of the tire deeply in the slot. Depending on the bike, you may find that it works best to lift the front tire slightly so the bolts on the front wheel go past the elbow connectors in the center. PVC pipe is durable, but prolonged exposure to the sun's UV rays can discolor and weaken it. To increase the longevity of your bike rack, manufacturers recommend painting with an exterior water-based latex paint. Krylon also makes a spray paint primer, recommended for use with PVC pipe. You can then finish it with a coat of regular spray paint in the color of your choice. This rack does work for adult bikes, but I recommend staking down the rack if you have large bikes. You can hammer in U-bolts purchased from the hardware store for extra stabilization. For written instructions, please visit my website, madebymarzipan.com, and search for Bike Rack. Try this at home.